Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and I am going to be featuring a quick and easy card using the brand new bundle period basis, which is this one. I'll show you here so that you can really see um, what the punch is about. So these two comes in a bundle and as usual, if you get them together, you get a 10% on both items. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I have already pre-punched um, these two bases out of the um what is this wood textures design series paper you can see it here and i actually look at two um one that is lighter and one that it is darker that way i could have two shades of bases and um this is a carryover from design series paper from last time so the paper that i have today here is my car base is crumb cake <clears throat> and this one is eight and a half by five and a half then I have a piece of um, Early Espresso, which is three by three, and the Whisper White, which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And like I said, I have already pre-punched two of these little ones. Um, so <clears throat> let's just put together first this one. So as usual, I'm just gonna be folding it in half. So it goes that way. And then let's just start doing the stamping. Now, because this is a photopolymer stamp set, I'm gonna be using um, my piercing mat. And let me just, and I'm always using a scrap of paper from both sides. So <clears throat> no exception here. That way I can see where it is. And what I am thinking of using is this one and then this one. Um, I have not yet defined exactly how I want it, but I feel like at least I have to put that one on this side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use Early Espresso. I'm going to have it like so. Okay, perfect. And so... The way I picture this is having this one here and then this one somewhere here. So the next one has to be like here, don't you think? So I feel like I can take this one out and then just put it like so. So again, I'm going to be using Early Espresso and I'm just uh, softly inking it. I don't want to get a lot of these and I'm thinking about putting it all the way here all right perfect so <clears throat> the next thing is I want to use um well let me see I want this one here so for this one, I already know it's going to be flat, so I can go ahead and put some of my snail. And I'm just going to put it like so. And then this one is going to go kind of in dimensionals. Now for this one, I think I need a larger here and one of the small ones here so let's just see if it fits I think it does yeah there you go so we're gonna we're gonna oh but you know what this one I'll wait a little bit because I think this one I need to first do the flowers and so now here's the other thing I have not really decided yet but I think I want um, let me see. Calypso Coral for this one. I think that's what I want. Um, let me just get a scrap of paper here to see if this is what I want. Yes, I think it looks really cute. And so I'm going to take a little bit out. Um, you can still see it that way I can see better how to line it up 
And here we go. And then for this one, I'm picturing to use the um, pink, the petal pink, which is a brand new color. And so let's just use this one. Let's just do that one. Do you think? I think it looks, yeah, it kind of goes well with those two, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and... And again, I'm going to try to go out of focus a little bit just so that I can see. But you can see I'm just lining it up, pressing, and voila. There we go. <clears throat> so now that I have that, then I can put the little base. And so for this one... Hmm. I'm going to put it like so. And what do you think, huh? It looks really cute. Now for this section, I think that I want to put it like so. Yes. And then I was thinking about using like a loops of coral. Like maybe as a, as a way to put my sentiment. So let me just put this one. Um, I wanted to make it a birthday, a birthday one. So I think that it should go somewhere here and then do that. So let's just do that. Like I said, this is a very quick and easy card. Um, so for this one, I use dimensionals because I really like having that dimension on my cards. For those of you that know me, I love, love, love adding um, dimension to all my cards. I feel like it just makes it so special and I think it also distinguishes um, the handmade ones, you know? Don't you think so? So anyway, so now that I have it like so, so this is the way, then I think this is where it comes handy having this one, yes. And so this is the one where I'm going to be adding the sentiment. And I'm going to be using also, um, what is this color? Early Espresso. And you know what? Let me just put again this. Because I feel like it always is better if you're... It's more, it's more so true when you're using... Um, let me see, I don't think... Oh, there you go. Uh, it's more so true when you're doing bold images. I think that the, when it is a line, I think you can go by without the foam mat. But uh, I still like to have it always. Alright. And so like I said, this is a very quick, simple card. And um, I feel like it's great because then you can do multiple of those. Actually, you know what? Let's just do. Let's just use. There we go. Here we go. Yes, I think that this one will go perfect. Don't you think? So now for this one. Um, and you know what? I feel like it misses something. So now that I have these. There is um, the design series paper that is called Garden Garden Impressions. And if you don't know which one I'm talking about, it's this one. Okay, wish he had one side. Lots of flowers. And on the other one, it's more like a one color type of deal or two colors. So I think that this one will go really well with this, don't you think? So I'm going to cut a little piece of this. Um, probably like... An inch and a half, and I know this is the older one, but I still, I mean, it's still really sharp, so I still use it all the time. Um, I know Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this anymore, but honestly, I cannot be without it. <laughs> and since the blade is still good, um, I just keep using it. So let's just put it like so. 
And you can see that this is slightly bigger, so we're just gonna trim that piece. Well, and then we're gonna add this one to our cart. Yes, and see, I just love how this looks. Okay, so let's just put it like so. And then let's add dimensionals on these. And um, I'm gonna be using my border. I think that was three, she will do. Again, you can use um, the whole thing on your border. And I'm gonna be putting it like so here. Rather than add it here, I'm gonna put it here. I think it looks perfect that way. And then, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of Wink of Estella. I think it has been a little bit of, since I've added Wink of Estella to my cart. So let's just add some of it. And I'm just adding it to the little petals on the flower. So let's just do that. There we go. And um, what do you think? It looks really cute, right? Let me see. We did probably a little bow, too. You know, like I said previously, I feel like Stamping Up did great this year with embellishments. I know this one is the Nature's Twines that goes in with the um, poems, Nature's Poem Suite. But honestly, I feel like it goes well with so many things that I've been using it with everything. So definitely get a pack of the Nature's Twine because I've been using it a lot and a lot. So I'm going to be adding this to this section and that's it yes yeah, so i think that that'll finish this card so anyways so hope you have enjoyed it um if you have any questions let me know also don't forget about my ordering special anytime uh well when you enter when you enter an order using my uh hostess code and you find the hostess code out of my blog creating with and i'll put the the blog link on my um, description of this video you get um, you get a card key to to make four cards so it will provide everything except the stamping um, but you can substitute the stamping with whatever you have available if you don't have the one that I am using and also um, if your order is $50 or more you actually get the accessory of the month as well so anyway if you have any questions let me know and hope to see you soon thank you bye